the Miocene is the first geological epoch of the Neogen period and extends from about 23.03 at 05.332 million years ago. The Miocene was named by Sir Charles Leal. Its name comes from the Greek words I one quarter I micron I I per mil I one half and I I plus or minus I to the first I one half I Y and means less recent, because it has 18% fewer modern sea invertebrates than the Pliocene. The Miocene follows the Oligocene Epoch and is followed by the Pliocene Epoch. The Earth went from the Oligocene through the Miocene and into the Pliocene as it cooled into a series of ice ages. The Miocene boundaries are not marked by a single distinct global event but consist rather of regional boundaries between the warmer Oligocene and the cooler Pliocene. The apes arose and diversified during the Miocene Epoch, becoming widespread in the Old World. In fact, by the end of this epoch, the ancestors of humans had split away from the ancestors of the chimpanzees to follow their own evolutionary path. As in the Oligocene before it, grasslands continued to expand and forests to dwindle in extent. In the Miocene seas, kelp forests made their first appearance and soon became one of Earth's most productive ecosystems. The plants and animals of the Miocene were fairly modern. Mammals and birds were well established. Whales, seals, and kelp spread. The Miocene epoch is of particular interest to geologists and paleoclimatologists as major phases of Himalayan uplift had occurred during the Miocene epoch, affecting monsoonal patterns in Asia, which were interlinked with glaciations in the northern hemisphere. Subdivisions The Miocene faunal stages from youngest to oldest are typically named according to the International Commission on Stratigraphy. These subdivisions within the Miocene are defined by the relative abundance of different species of calcareous nanofossils and foraminifera. Two subdivisions each form the early, middle and late Miocene. Regionally, other systems are used. These ages often extend across the ICS epoch boundary into the Pliocene and Oligocene. Paleogeography, continents continue to drift toward their present positions. Of the modern geologic features, only the land bridge between South America and North America was absent, although South America was approaching the western subduction zone in the Pacific Ocean, causing both the rise of the Andes and a southward extension of the Mesoamerican Peninsula. Mountain building took place in western North America, Europe, and East Asia. Both continental and marine Miocene deposits are common worldwide with marine outcrops common near modern shorelines. Well-studied continental exposures occur in the North American Great Plains and in Argentina. India continued to collide with Asia, creating dramatic new mountain ranges. The Tethys Seaway continued to shrink and then disappeared as Africa collided with Eurasia in the Turkish Euro-Arabian region between 19 and 12 Ma. The subsequent uplift of mountains in the western Mediterranean region and a global fall in sea levels combined to cause a temporary drying up of the Mediterranean Sea near the end of the Miocene. The global trend was towards increasing aridity caused primarily by global cooling reducing the ability of the atmosphere to absorb moisture. Uplift of East Africa in the late Miocene was partly responsible for the shrinking of tropical rainforests in that region and Australia got drier as it entered a zone of low rainfall in the late Miocene. Climate Climates remained moderately warm, although the slow global cooling that eventually led to the Pleistocene glaciations continued. Although a long-term cooling trend was well underway, there is evidence of a warm period during the Miocene when the global climate rivaled that of the Oligocene. The Miocene warming began 21 million years ago and continued until 14 million years ago. When global temperatures took a sharp drop, the Middle Miocene climate transition. By 8 million years ago, temperatures dropped sharply once again, and the Antarctic ice sheet was already approaching its present day size and thickness. Greenland may have begun to have large glaciers as early as 7 to 8 million years ago, although the climate for the most part remained warm enough to support forests there well into the Pliocene. Life Life during the Miocene epoch was mostly supported by the two newly formed biomes, kelp forests and grasslands. This allows for more grazers, such as horses, rhinoceroses, and hippos. 95% of modern plants existed by the end of this epoch. Flora The coevolution of gritty, fibrous, 
fire-tolerant grasses and long-legged gregarious ungulates with high crown teeth, led to a major expansion of grass grazer ecosystems, with roaming herds of large, swift grazers pursued by predators across broad sweeps of open grasslands, displacing desert, woodland, and browsers. The higher organic content and water retention of the deeper and richer grassland soils, with long-term burial of carbon in sediments, produced a carbon and water vapor sink. This, combined with higher surface albedo and lower evapotranspiration of grassland, contributed to a cooler, drier climate. C4 grasses, which are able to assimilate carbon dioxide and water more efficiently than C3 grasses, expanded to become ecologically significant near the end of the Miocene between 6 and 7 million years ago. The expansion of grasslands and radiations among terrestrial herbivores correlates to fluctuations in CO2. Sea cats between 11.5 and 5 MYA began to re-diversify after previous declines in variety due to climatic changes, and thus modern sea cats are not a good model for a living fossil. Fauna Both marine and continental fauna were fairly modern, although marine mammals were less numerous. Only in isolated South America and Australia did widely divergent fauna exist. In the early Miocene, several Oligocene groups were still diverse, including Nymrapids, Entelodonts, and three-toed horses. Like in the previous Oligocene epoch, Oreodonts were still diverse, only to disappear in the earliest Pliocene. During the later Miocene mammals were more modern, with easily recognizable dogs, bears, raccoons, horses, beaver, deer, camels, and whales, along with now extinct groups like Borophagene dogs, Gompavers, three-toed horses, and semi-aquatic and hornless rhinos like Teleoceras and Ephelops. Islands began to form between South and North America in the late Miocene, allowing ground sloths like the Nobodists to island hop to North America. The expansion of silica-rich C4 grasses led to worldwide extinctions of herbivorous species without high crown teeth. Unequivocally recognizable dabbling ducks, plovers, typical owls, cockatoos and crows appeared during the Miocene. By the epoch's end, all or almost all modern bird families are believed to have been present. The few post-Miocene bird fossils which cannot be placed in the evolutionary tree with full confidence are simply too badly preserved rather than too equivocal in character. Marine birds reached their highest diversity ever in the course of this epoch. Approximately 100 species of apes lived during this time, ranging throughout Africa, Asia and Europe and varying widely in size, diet, and anatomy. Due to scanty fossil evidence it is unclear which ape or apes contributed to the modern hominid clade, but molecular evidence indicates this ape lived between 7 and 8 million years ago. The first hominins appeared in Africa at the very end of the Miocene, including Sabulanthropus, Ororin, and an early form of Ardipithecus. In the oceans, brown algae, called kelp, proliferated, supporting new species of sea life, including otters, fish and various invertebrates. Cetaceans attained their greatest diversity during the Miocene, with over 20 recognized genera in comparison to only six living genera. This diversification correlates with emergence of gigantic macro predators such as megatoothed sharks and raptorial sperm whales. Prominent examples are C. megalodon and L. Melville. Other notable large sharks were C. tubutensis, Isaurus hastilis, and Hemipristicera. Crocodilians also showed signs of diversification during Miocene. The largest form among them was a gigantic Cayman purosaurus which inhabited South America. Another gigantic form was a false gharial Rumphosuchus, which inhabited modern-age India. A strange form Morosuchus also thrived alongside Purosaurus. This species developed a specialized filter feeding mechanism, and it likely preyed upon small fauna despite its gigantic size. The pinnipeds, which appeared near the end of the Oligocene, became more aquatic. Prominent genus was Alodesmus. A ferocious walrus, Pelagiotos may have preyed upon other species of pinnipeds including Alodesmus. Furthermore, South American waters witnessed the arrival of Megapiranha paranansis, which were considerably larger than modern-age piranhas. Oceans 
there is evidence from oxygen isotopes at deep sea drilling program sites that ice began to build up in Antarctica about 36 Ma during the Eocene. Further marked decreases in temperature during the Middle Miocene at 15 Ma probably reflect increased ice growth in Antarctica. It can therefore be assumed that East Antarctica had some glaciers during the early to mid Miocene. Oceans cooled partly due to the formation of the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, and about 15 million years ago the ice cap in the Southern Hemisphere started to grow to its present form. The Greenland ice cap developed later, in the Middle Pliocene time about 3 million years ago. Middle Miocene Disruption The Middle Miocene Disruption refers to a wave of extinctions of terrestrial and aquatic life forms that occurred following the Miocene climatic optimum, around 14.8 to 14.5 million years ago, during the Langean stage of the Mid-Miocene. A major and permanent cooling step occurred between 14.8 and 14.1 Ma, associated with increased production of cold Antarctic deep waters and a major growth of the East Antarctic ice sheet. A middle Miocene I-18-0 increase, that is, a relative increase in the heavier isotope of oxygen, has been noted in the Pacific, the Southern Ocean and the South Atlantic. See also, Asteration, Chirolian, Belizean, Geologic Time Scale, List of Fossil Sites, Category, Miocene Animals, References Further reading, Cox, C. Barry and Moore, Peter D. Biogeography. An Ecological and Evolutionary Approach. Blackwell Scientific Publications, Cambridge. ISBN 0-632-02967-6, OG, Jim, Overview of Global Boundary Stratotype Sections and Points. Retrieved April 30, 2006. External links, PBS Deep Time. Miocene, UCMP Berkeley Miocene Epoch page, Miocene microfossils, 200 plus images of Miocene foraminifera.